Hey everybody, old guy riding. I am back in the saddle on my new 2021 Matt Raven Black MT-09 that I waited 15 weeks to get. Worth it? Absolutely. It's a cool day, going to be in the mid 50s, so I am wearing my heated gloves. I figure with fall coming, I should get used to working the throttle and the clutch with these gloves on, get a good feel for it. So that is what I'm doing today. I'll have a little bit more to talk about as time goes on through the ride. But for right now, we're just going to relax and do our thing. Isn't that a great sound? I really enjoy the sound of this engine and I really enjoy working that quick shifter both up and down as a treat. I'm going to make a stop in a little bit and talk about some of the modifications that I've done, a couple of issues I ran into and what to do if you run into those same issues. So stay tuned for that. It's coming up shortly. Okay, here we are. This is one of my favorite stopping points. Some of the modifications that I've done is I got tech spec, tank grips, and I find that these really come in handy on this bike because I find myself sliding forward on the seat and when I hug the tank with my knees, that all goes away. So it was good that I got those. I got the CRG lane splitter mirrors. We can't filter or lane split here in Maryland. It's illegal. But the shed in which I keep my bike, the door it's only three feet wide. So sometimes it's a little hairy getting it in through the door. But with these, bada boom. No problem whatsoever. So I don't have to nick the mirrors like I did even on the MT-07. I changed out the clutch and brake levers with Rizoma and they're working really nicely. I like having a clutch lever that is adjustable and I needed to have symmetry so I got them both. Frame sliders absolute must on your bike. Absolute. You've got to protect your bike. Swing arm spools you need those if you're going to do any type of maintenance on your bike or even if you're just going to store it over the winter you want to get those wheels off the ground. You don't want to get any any flat spots to develop. This small little windscreen, I don't know if it does any good. I haven't been on the highway yet, but it makes the bike look a little better. Another must for me is a radiator guard. I think it's an absolute for your bike. Again, helps to protect your bike. A USB port, if you're going to use your phone, if you're going to motor vlog, and you hook up a GoPro facing back towards you, then that's the way to go. Easy to hook up. Now, talking about hooking that up, I've watched a lot of videos 
where people say to remove this assembly here, you have to remove these four bolts and then two under here. That's not true. You only need to remove these two. These are strictly for when you put on a windscreen. No other purpose. So just take these off and these two and it swings out no problem whatsoever. Another issue that I had, when I put on the radiator guard, these type 2 fasteners, which are Phillips screwdriver head, you just back them out slowly and they pop right out. One of them was not backing out. I didn't know what I would have to do to get it to back out, so what I did on my Swiss Army knife there's like a teeny tiny chisel and I got that chisel or if you can find something that tapers down to a nice fine edge get that and slip it underneath there and put a little pressure moving it upwards once I did that I worked the Phillips head and it came out it started to unscrew and once I got that done no problem whatsoever so that's a remedy should one of your screws just turn and not come out not back out in any, any kind of way then just get yourself a nice sharp little object put it between your plastic and the screw put a little pressure upwards and then use your Phillips head on that screw Mine backed right out. So, that being said, these are the only modifications that I have so far. I'm waiting on engine guards that will fit over here and also will fit over here. Now, Womit Tech, I believe is the name of them, they put out a, a slider that fits right in here. And it protrudes, oh, I don't know, maybe out to here. But, I've low sided it before on this side. And before it ever gets to that slider, you're going to suffer damage to your crankcase cover right under here. That's what's going to hit first. So if you get one of those guards thinking that it's going to protect your crankcase cover, better think again. It may not. I also got the Nelson rig because I like to have certain things that I take with me. Tire puncture repair kit, dyno plug pump, and a few other things. I'm waiting on the Yoshimura fender eliminator and I'm waiting on the engine guards. Other than that, I think I'm good. I don't think I'll change out the exhaust. I think it sounds good the way it is, but you never know. Once you start putting modifications on, it's kind of hard to stop. So let's say we get back on the road. Listen to this. That is so awesome. So again, I want to thank you all for tuning in. I appreciate it. 
I'm pretty sure that I'm I'm the oldest owner of a 2021 MT-09 and that's kind of cool so do your grandpa a favor and give this a like better yet subscribe that would be nice and I'll try and get out some more videos as I make more progress on my MT-09 thanks again See ya.